What's up deckheads? Welcome to another Steam Deck news video. We have a massive Steam Deck client update for you guys. This update brings stuff like local network game transferring. It brings a more advanced HDR option. It also adds support for the Sony DualSense Edge controller and so much more. If that's something you guys were interested in, stop dicking around, hit the like button and let's get right into this video. So let's start with the local network game transfers and stays here. This add a new feature that allows Steam users to copy existing Steam game installation and update files from one PC to another over local area network without having to download and install from a Steam content server on the internet. This reduces the internet traffic and can speed up installs or updates. So this is pretty neat. Again, there's a link here if you guys want to find out more about this. I advise that you check this out. So some changes to general. I'm not going to go over all this list, but I'm just going to highlight some stuff here. One that has me really interested is they see a move advanced HDR option to developer settings. This is pretty neat. It's definitely something I'm going to give a try. But as you can see here, this brings a lot of fixes to general as well. So again, look at this list. If you see something that interests you, definitely check it out. This also brings some changes to steam input and the biggest one i would have to say in this list is the added support for for the sony dualsense edge controller this includes support for remapping of the red buttons as well this is huge because this controller seems to be really popular and to finally get the official steam deck support here is pretty cool and then also a lot of fixes as well to other controllers like the joy cons as well so again give this a look if something catch your interest make sure you check it out so the last thing that comes with this update is some changes to desktop mode again this is the list a lot here but sometimes on the highlight it says it added ui that temporarily replaces the what's new section of the library when pre-purchased games are available to preload or install and play so with this as well a lot of fixes came to desktop mode so again check out this list and if any of them catch your interest make sure you check it out all right fellas that's all i have for you guys thanks for watching let me know in the comments below does this update excite you guys are you guys gonna install it are you guys gonna play around with it Alright fellas, appreciate you guys. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Till next time, lay little deckheads.